Yeah, it was great. Um, we offer City and Guilds accreditation now. That's just kind of kicking off this year. Um, and uh, I think we've given out about 40 bikes now to the people in the community for, for free. So basically, anybody can come up, uh, whatever age, um, they can either bring their own bike to get fixed, some punctures, anything that's wrong with it, or if they haven't got a bike, and there's quite a lot of people in this community that don't have uh, access to a bike, um, they can pick a, a kind of frame that's been donated, and uh, we'll take some to fix it up, and then they can ride away into the sunset and, and get cycling. I mean, it's a two-way thing. CARF allows the council to, to engage with the community, but also gives the community an opportunity to, to make the council more accountable. It gives the community a voice at the end of the day. It's, no, we're going to come in and do this. It's, what would you like to, in your community, how would you like to go about it? And is there anything else that you want? I don't feel like I'm getting here. I feel just like I'm having fun. Can yeah, you? It's so like, and it's a break from the kids. Because if you've, you've got the wee one like I've got Kyle, and we've got a wee ones 24-7, but then we can go and cook knowing that they're safe in the creche. Instead of like in the house, they're all running in out the kitchen and you're trying to prepare where here it's all, they're separated from the kids and it's prepared separate and you go home and heat it up. So, and plus it saves us time at night and you get to play with them or do homework because the meals are already prepared. Mm. So it helps us that way. <laughs> and it's fresh. We've got the statistical evidence and what we're hoping to do is to find out from local people exactly what it's like to live in the Galton and then get them involved in shaping how we can change things with them rather than um, make some decisions in a darkened office somewhere. Clients have successfully been referred to agencies such as smoking cessation, um, local um, drug and alcohol misuse agencies, um, healthy weight, um, GP um, with their consent. It's just been remarkable. Um, some clients will come back and say I've managed to reduce my alcohol intake um, I've stopped smoking, I'm going to classes um, and really felt that giving them a wee bit more control of, um, of their lifestyle. The way we want to then determine which projects will get selected will do through a process of participatory budgeting. So, don't know what that will entail exactly, but what will mean that the communities themselves will decide how the £18,000 will be spent and on what projects. And what makes participatory budgeting different from consultation is that um, participatory budgeting means that we're duty-bound um, with the decision that the communities make. It's a children's gala. It's trying to bring sort of a sense of the old community spirit back in to here. And um, some of us remember going to the galas when we were younger, different ones, minors, community centres, things like that. Um, so we wanted to bring a bit of that back for the children. Um, it was a great success last year. A bit windy, so we're hoping for better weather this year. But, um, you had a good turnout? We had a good turnout, yeah. Just by the end of November, we were lucky enough to find out we got 950,000 from the Regeneration Capital Grant, Scottish Government funding. So now we're at the stage of, um, we've again employed an architect to do some drawings and the plan now is to take these drawings into consultation, a couple of options, and see what people actually want to happen. I mean, one of the key drivers has been is the, the consultation that people are actually involved and actually see things happening. So if we, if we keep going back to the community and keep consulting the people, they've got a say in what's actually happening on, on the ground. There's quite a lot on. Uh, there's a lot of uh, things like line dancing, judo, um, the disco dancing, dog section. There's a lot of things like that. But there's also a ladies section for the older people on a Wednesday night. And once a month we have a coffee morning for the old people. Um, and they get quite a lot of nice outings and uh, trips and high teas bought for them and treated nicely. And the kids, they, um, they always get either their Halloween party or their Christmas party. We never make a profit off the children or old age pensioners. Certainly having the new resources that are going to be coming in um, to, to look at developing community facilities, for instance, um, is, is going to be a really um, big boon to the government, I think, and hopefully be a, a real 
catalyst for getting people involved.